Hi, did you read the James Grady's Six Day of the Condor and watch the Sydney Pollux movie before playing this new series? What were f f your feelings about them? I love them. I, 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 of course, read the book. Yeah. I also watched the film. Um, what I liked about them that is in keeping with our TV show is, is they imbue the audience with a sense of suspicion, fear, a little paranoia, and they re request accountability a little more. And I think today, especially, when we're seeing a lot of social manipulation, a lot of wars being waged for illegal reasons in some cases, I think more than ever today, even more than during Nixon, we have to stand up to our government and, and hold the people we vote accountable for some of the things they're doing in our name. What can you tell us about your current writer, Joe Turner, a young CIA analyst? Well, he is a young CIA, <laughs> CIA analyst. Yes. Um, he is idealistically conflicted. Um, there's a conversation he has between uh, his uncle, played by William Hurt in episode four, where he talks, he, his uncle is trying to recruit him into the CIA, and he talks about the things that the CIA have done throughout the world over the past 90 years. And, and a lot of them aren't, aren't, aren't righteous. A lot of them are purely to serve the economic interests of the American people at the expense of yes. so many. Um, whereas also, the, the other side of the coin is if you want to make a real change to, to an organization like the CIA, you're not going to be able to destroy it, so maybe you should join and change it from within, which is the path Joe takes. Which are for you the main differences between the book and this series? I think what's nice about long-form television, yes. we have 10 hours to tell the story. Um, I'm going, to say, I'm going to talk about the film and not the book, because yeah, so I think more yeah. people will have seen the film. The, the film is good, it, it's particularly interesting in, in the, the characters, you don't know who they are, where they come from, who they work for, what they stand for, or where they go. And that's a good thing, because it gives us a sense of fear and mystery and paranoia. However, in our show, when we have a longer period of time, we can get into the ideological conflict at work, differing points of view, uh, and we can pose interesting questions and, and go into them in a, in a greater detail. What can you tell us about your training for this series because you won a lot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well I knew how to run before, not, yeah. not very well, but, so there was a bit of running. Um, I did a little bit of weapons training, Yes. Uh, terrifying, didn't, didn't enjoy that at all. Uh, and then a lot of reading about the CIA and the NSA and their technological capabilities and that kind of thing. In this first season, which scene was the most difficult to play for you and why? God, I think <laughs> there, was, there was this one scene where... There's two scenes. One, I had to fight Catherine Cunningham, okay. which is always... It's not much fun uh, doing that. And then the other scene was... It was my first scene with Bob Balaban and William Hurt. And I had to walk into a room and just start the scene with them. That's a little scary when, you know, two masters yes. of acting. Well, what can you tell us about your collaboration with William Hurt and Lynn Lubani? Ask me the question one more time. Uh, about your collaboration with uh, William Hurt and uh, Lynn Lubani. William Hurt I've worked with twice, yes. actually. Um, William Hurt's amazing because he, he's viciously focused on the, the craft of acting. He doesn't care about anything else just the craft of acting and communicating the truth. F for young people, I think that's, like myself, I think that's pretty useful to see, to not be distracted by, you know, the superficial sides of what we do, focus on what's important. Liam Lubani is, is a wonderful example of a minimal performance. It's all in the eyes. Uh, and, and, and that you don't need to demonstrate anything. You, you know, he's pretty great. Your character worked in The Secret for CIA. What was your inspiration to create this character? Did you read a book of movies, maybe? No, I, for me, the inspiration wasn't 
wasn't anything a book or a movie. It was it was actually it was just the CIA, the history of the CIA, and 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 the. In fact, no. Let me change that. Uh, Edward Snowden, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Well, for you, which were the main objective in the first season of your character? The objective. Well, yeah. Primarily to survive. Yes, of course. Um, to recalibrate his principles, his morals, his ethics. Yes. Uh, yeah. From your perspective, what do do you must be a uh, action series? What give me one more time. What must be a good action series? What makes a good yeah. action series? Yeah. Well, I think obviously uh, action. Everybody loves a bit of action, but I think if it's underpinned with uh, thought, consideration, interesting ideas, uh, arguments, I think. That's what makes our show particularly interesting. We do have action, we do have gun chases, car chases, gunplay, all that kind of thing. But uh, there's a lot to be taken away. You're left thinking and examining the world around you, around us as well as ourselves, and I think that's good. What can you tell us about the conspiracy in this first season? Ooh, without giving it away? Yes. I can't tell you much. All I could say, what I'll say to you is that Like today, I think we are easily distracted, yes. and 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 we're told one thing, and we often believe it, um, and in order to justify uh, something much more heinous. For it, for example, the Iraq War, weapons of mass destruction, distraction. Why we can't? Yeah, some of it. Revenge only leads to more revenge. I am done with this world. You say in theory. Are ready for season two? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing. A good question. Um, I could answer it, but I don't know anything about season two yet. Okay. So I can't really, I can't really answer it. And my last question: Which are your current projects, movies, series? Sure. Uh, yeah. I've just finished something called The Little Drummer Girl, which is uh, for the BBC and AMC okay. as a John Le Carre uh, novel. Uh, Florence Pugh, Alexander Skarsgård, Michael Shannon. Um, I think there's a film that's going to be released here called Terminal, which is Margot Robbie, Simon Pegg, Dexter Fletcher, and that. And then, of course, uh, season two of Condor, which starts in January, and that's eight months. So beyond that, I don't really know. Thank you very much. Thank you.